Then there's the third area, and that is service. There's service. And that's where you have to figure out, you have to set some time, whether it's once a week, whether it's on the weekends, you don't need the screen anyway. If it was on the weekends, whether it's, you know, um, once in a month, but you have to do some kind of service, meaning, meaning help people. Help people. And that doesn't mean that you necessarily have to do this under an Islamic banner. If you want to volunteer at Habitat for Humanity, do it. It's okay, it'll be cool to see a bearded guy helping out with that too. It'll be cool. We don't have to do things under our own banner. Good causes are good causes. Whether Christians are doing them, Jews are doing them, you know, you know the Gates Foundation is doing them, it doesn't matter. If it's a good cause, you can be a part of it. And actually, personally, I recommend Muslims to be part of good causes that are run by non-Muslims, so they get to see that Muslims care too. And it gives them an opportunity to ask Muslims questions about Islam. It gives them that opportunity. So volunteer, help out, be part of something, something you feel passionately about. And just do that for yourself. Don't publicize it, don't tweet about it. Just helped out, volunteer today. Feel really good, alhamdulillah. Humble brag. Like, don't... Don't do that. Just do it for yourself. It will make you a better human being. You'll, be, you'll become a better person when you do these kinds of... And parents, those of you that have parents that, are, that have teenage children, if you can encourage that sort of activity and even be, take part in it with your teenage kids, it's actually most important in teenage years to engage in the activity of helping other people. That's part of what builds maturity. Because the teenage years are when our youth, our youth in general, not just Muslim youth, youth in general are the most self-absorbed. They're really just, their world is themselves and how they look and their friends and their Facebook status or how many friends they have or whatever. That stuff becomes really important to them at that age. They become very petty. And if you can pull them out of that mindset at that age and make them care about things beyond themselves, helping other people, seeing what suffering looks like and helping with that, you know, like recently, for example, with the disaster of the, you know, the storm that hit and all those people in New Jersey and New York and all of this is not too far from you guys. If you did a, a weekend trip every weekend with some, with the Red Cross or anybody else, and you went and just helped out people whose homes are destroyed or there's a tree in their driveway or something and just went and helped and came back. If you just did that, it, it would, I'm telling you, it will bring you closer to Allah like nothing else. 